This may take me a while. I'm only kidding, it won't take very long at all. <laughs> so good evening, everybody, ladies and gentlemen, members of the Missouri Broadcasters Association, everyone involved with the Hall of Fame induction, fellow inductees, family and friends. I want to start this by saying that for me, this event proves that things can come true that you never even dreamed of. Never in my wildest dreams would I have thought of this. And obviously it does go without saying that this will be the highlight of my 61 years in broadcasting. I tear up pretty easy, by the way. In the brief time that I have now, it would be impossible to thank and mention everyone who had a part in me getting to this point. However, there are a few I, I must mention. First and foremost, of course, my partner in all 61 years, my partner in this journey, my wife, Irma, would you stand up, hon? <laughs> she is, without a doubt, the rock of the Woods family, and I would hate to think of where I would be without her. Followed closely by my two kids, my two children, Sherry Nace and Doug Woods, whom I'm sure when they were kids wondered at times why dad had to work all those holidays and everyone else had some time off. Or why they, they just weren't very many vacations at the Woods house. Work seemed to kind of take over sometimes. Our family continues to grow. Irma and I have five grandchildren now, eight great-grandchildren, some of whom are here today. Here today also is my sister, Marilyn Hill, Polly, and her husband, John. They have drove here from Omaha just for this evening. And I have a niece here today, Jana Dahl, drove here from Dallas, Texas, to be here for this. Thank you. Not a family member, but a good friend since his preteen years. Former state representative and state senator David Pierce joins us today, sitting at my table. He is now the, hope I get this somewhere close to right, legislative liaison for the University of Central Missouri. He's also a former broadcaster. Many of you may not know that. He worked with me at COCO for a number of years as a youngster. And in another life, he also did some farm market reports, believe that, on the Brownfield Network. And now I get to the folks who own DNH Media LLC, the owner operator of KOKO AM and KWKJ FM. They are Vance Delosier and his wife, Lori and Greg Hassler and his new fiancee, Elizabeth. Here's what happened. They give me a place to go play every day. We just go play and have a good time. It's not work, never has been really hard work for me. So I thank you guys, and I mean that. Thank you very much for allowing me to do what I do. They're the third owners I worked for at COCO. I also want to thank my friends at KMOS-TV at the University of Central Missouri who put together the video you saw this evening. And there are many others who had an impact on my career one way or another. In fact, <laughs> we'd be here a long time if I brought that list out. In 61 years, you uh, work with a lot of folks. I'm going to mention one, though. He probably is not even aware 
of any kind of an impact he's had on me over the years. But I want to thank Bob Pretty. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, everyone, who in the past 61 years had a hand in guiding me to this pinnacle today. It doesn't get any better than this. I am truly grateful. I really am. Wow. One more thing. Congratulations to all the other Missouri Broadcasters Hall of Fame inductees. I salute you, too. I salute all of you. Thank you very much.